what's up you guys welcome back to the channel i just woke up like five minutes ago but i wanted to update you guys on my weigh-in so far and where i'm at with everything this is what i look like like right when i wake up it's usually the smallest obviously but i can tell so much in my stomach and my arms that I've lost some weight. So as of this morning, I am down to 140.8. In the last week, I've only lost a pound and a half, which I was hoping to lose way more than that, but I will take the pound. No, it's been about a pound. Yeah, just about a pound. That's kind of what that looked like. It kind of gradually really just went down. It stayed the same for over the weekend. I'm hoping to lose like quite a bit this next week. I just gotta like buckle down. Maybe I'm gonna, I might lower my calories. I think I might lower my calories today, but. base tan down I just tan and I don't get burnt so before I go to Hawaii I am tanning in a tanning bed I don't ever tan in a tanning bed unless I'm going on vacation and it's not a last minute trip trust me guys I know it's not like hold on oh I'm still trying to enjoy my my car right now here I'm gonna be tanning for the next like week, week and a half, just to get like a little base tan down, just so I don't burn really bad when I'm in Hawaii. I don't go anywhere fancy. I used to go to like the tanning salon back in the day, but I just go to my gym tanning bed, which isn't anything crazy. It's like the bare minimum tanning bed, so it looks like this. It's just a regular lay down. I use these lotions. This is for your body. And then this one's for your face. Honestly, I feel like it just makes my skin a lot more smooth instead of like kind of getting wrinkly and like dry. So that just hydrates my skin. So I I always use like a lotion or something. I kind of have a tan already from Cancun, but I do not want to get burnt again in Hawaii. So. <laughs> to Devin's shop and today's the day we are going to tune the car um I think Devin and Josh Josh is the one Josh Bader is the one tuning the car I believe they're gonna put some E85 in it today it's 85% ethanol so I just like to say it's like race car gas makes the car go faster and I'm not sure how long this process is gonna take but pretty much Josh just hooks up a computer and he will look at numbers and adjust stuff as we go I'm assuming it's gonna take a few hours and also you guys I wanted to update you I did lower my calories I showed you my update this morning but I have five pounds to lose this week so I'm down to 1650 calories and Devin over here is also crash dieting he gained a few pounds over his bachelor party weekend a little bit hangry. <sighs> okay, guys, so we ended up tuning the car for a really long time, and there was some slight issues, and I'm not gonna get into it because you know, I'm not a tuner and there's so much that goes into it and there's so much that was like kind of um, throwing things off that it just took a lot longer. If you guys wanna go and see why that took so much longer. You can head over to Devin's channel because he's recording all of that process, but he was like, you know what, babe, like this is gonna take a very, very long time tonight so if you want to take the bmw and just you know go do your thing go get your stuff done then hopefully by the time you're done we'll have it tuned for e85 and now i'm in the m3 this thing is so loud guys I 
just got out of Costco. I didn't take you guys with me because I was literally in Costco for like five minutes. I knew exactly where I was going and everything's in the trunk. So I want to show you guys what I got and this is like what I always get for just like dieting and stuff. Like so many people have such a hard time. I feel like shopping or like knowing what to get when they go when they're like starting to diet. We have this from Costco. This is the Iso Pure protein powder, just vanilla. Fit Crunch bars, more uh, protein bars. We have ketchup. I was low on ketchup. Cheese. I was low on cheese. That's not really it. But then we have two things of chicken and more protein bars. That's usually what I get when I go to Costco. But the M3 made it here safe. Look. I'm not gonna take you guys in the gym with me today. Um, I feel like I record my leg day every single time I upload a video. You guys already know leg day. You guys already have seen my leg days before. If you want to watch one of those videos, I'll link it up above and you guys can go watch one of my leg day videos. I do wanna say with dieting, you do lose a lot of strength and you do lose some muscles. So to keep that muscle in strength, you have to keep on lifting heavy to preserve that muscle. I still have to work out as though I am trying to bulk, if that makes sense. So if you are dieting, don't take it easy on yourself. Work out even harder to maintain the muscle that you do have. I definitely am not as strong as I was on my squats. I'm not as strong as I was with my shoulder press. So I can tell my strength's going down and especially because I'm doing a crash diet. Today I'm really feeling it. I lowered my calories. I told you guys I'm at 17, no, I'm at 16.50. So I'm trying to lose five more pounds this week, which is really crazy and I'm probably gonna be like really exhausted by the end of the week. My energy level's like way down, but I gotta kill today's workout. Um, I'm here, <laughs> I'm freaking here and I really don't wanna be because today is a squat day, so. I am going to procrastinate a little bit longer in the BMW and then I'm going to go inside and I will get back to you guys when we hear from Devin. Alright guys, it's the next day. Yesterday I had to stop recording just because Devin and Josh took, I mean, you guys took a, a long time to... You're running into problems. Yeah. There's a lot of kinks you got to work out when you're trying to make 800 wheel on a stock motor. <laughs> Devin wants to show me what this car is like on E85. Am I right? That's correct. Uh, well, not E85, so it's like E70 right now. So. Okay. Uh, to get E85, we'll throw this thing through and then go again. I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> To conclude this video, Gary is right around 500 horsepower on E85, and I think it's a touch under 400 um, just on pump gas. 
So I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited that Gary is finally making some power and it's a lot of fun for me to drive around now. Not that it wasn't before, but it just makes so many crazy noises and it's so fast for me. It's perfect, honestly, for me, for being my daily driver. I'm so excited to update you guys later on this week on my weigh-ins for my diet and remember hit the like button, subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.